like at Long Jetty with my beautiful mum. Okay, and we've just bought some beautiful things. Let's show, let's show mum. So mum took this Kate Spade black tote bag and this olive green one. And I got myself that gorgeous pink vintage top. It's actually PJ's, Chris told me, but I'm going to wear it as a top. And here's Chris. I have known Chris ever since I moved up. On the Hi. Central Coast, she used to be my beautiful lady that sold me all the great vintage at Tookley Markets. She's now doing these Betty's, what is it called? Oh, Betty's Flea Market. Betty's Flea Market at Long Jetty, but she's also, I love labels on eBay. Yeah. So if you're after good vintage, and what else do you do? A lot of linen. Oh, I do lots of linen and, and lots of labels. I have yes. lots of good labels. I um, love labels. I love labels, yes. So make sure you check her out on eBay. And if you're ever in Long Jetty, every fourth Saturday, fourth Saturday of the month, the um, last Saturday of every month, come um, to Betty's Flea Market. At the Long is, Jetty Hotel. Yes. Yeah. So come, I tell you, it's so worth it. And you'll see Chris here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm thinking about this one too. I think it's so cute. It's boho, but very 70s boho, and I love the, the colours in it. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'll think about that one. Okay, so yes, I found this belt as well from Chris. Chris has got the best stuff. I love her aesthetic. She just has a really good eye. So I love that belt and my little pink silk pajama top. There's actually pants to go with it. She's trying to look for them. <laughs> So I may even buy the pants, who knows, and wear it as an outfit. So there's lots more stores, let's go. I still just so gorgeous on the shoulder but I'm not sure I'm going to take this and wear just a um, black slip skirt underneath what do you think mum? gorgeous look at this dress it is vintage it is stunning and if I was getting married again I would buy it but I did that once once was enough and this one is 150 and it has a gorgeous little crown kind of veil I mean is that not the most stunning thing just do that Amazing. now that is special a wedding dress for a whole $150 amazing amazing Hold it down, I know I might be headed for tea. 
it drops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar. Cause I love you
It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous spring day, so isn't it? Amazing. Blue skies, sunshine, 25 degrees with a beautiful sea breeze. It's just perfection. So the vintage flea market was amazing. I can't believe I've been on the Central Coast now for almost five years and this is the first time I yeah. visited. This is something that I will do every month because they have them every month. I also intend to actually be a seller there every now and then so I'm thinking that maybe next month or the month after I'll go and sell some of my vintage and stuff I'm that's too. yeah some of my vintage mm. stuff that's just too beautiful to put online because you know people want everything for nothing right including myself when I'm the buyer but when you're the seller you know so it kind of like I didn't I didn't bargain with anyone at the flea market. They're there to make money. It's, it's you know, it's priced. So I don't feel comfortable saying, will you take this? Will you accept that? Because they're there to make money. It's their Saturday. You just, I'm not one that, yeah, I'm just not one. Yeah, you're not going to get richer for $5 or $3 or whatever. They're there to make money. You're getting something special. Everyone has a good time, right? It was just fantastic. Okay, see you at home. Alrighty, before we get into the haul, I just want to talk about my outfit. So this is a jumpsuit that I thrifted about a year ago and I had no intention of ever keeping it. It was for my shop, but I did wear it once before and I love it. It's so unlike me to wear something so figure hugging and you know, form fitting. You know, I'm changing it up and I feel good in this. This jumpsuit is from the 70s and so is the belt. The belt used to be my mum's when she was just a girl. I mean, this has got to be 50 years old at least and I love the way they look together. So the jumpsuit comes down to just above my ankles. It is sexy without being too in your face. And like I said, I feel really good in it. This is a Daniel Wellington watch, which I also thrifted. So basically I'm wearing a totally thrifted outfit. My bag was thrifted, this very Chanel-esque cream long chain little mini quilted bag in this gorgeous cream color to pair with my shoes 
which I actually bought years ago now. God, how old are my shoes? Maybe seven, eight years ago when I used to live in Cronulla, there was a boutique there called South of the Border and I fell in love with them and they're stunning. And they always get compliments without fail. Let us begin with the stuff that my mum found. Okay, so she bought this little black, well, it's not little, this, I wouldn't classify this as a tote. It's a shoulder bag, she loved it. It's Kate Spade. It's in pretty good condition. The gold hardware is not tarnished at all. The leather looks beautiful. It's just showing signs of wear in the handles there, but that can be easily fixed or mended. So I guess as a shoulder bag, she'd wear it this way. It's not really for me, like I've said many times, I'm a small bag girl, and if I am gonna carry a large bag, it's either going to be a backpack or a tote bag. But this, for my mum, I think is gorgeous. She also found this bag, which is in a gorgeous sage khaki green color and tan handles brass hardware. This is from Colorado, I think. Yes, Colorado, so it is leather. Colorado don't exist anymore. But again, very loved, very you know, worn in, but still has so much life left and she loved it. It's more casual than the black one. So that was mum's find. Now, this is my stuff. I found this belt, very Gucci-esque, with the little, what are they, stirrups? I'm not very into the equestrian terminology, but I think that's what they're called. They have, you know, three little brass stirrups and it's a brass gold buckle and it's leather. I just think it's a great piece. It's vintage. I love vintage belts. I kind of liked the way it looked with this jumpsuit. I like it. I like it. I think I like my mum's better with this piece. It breaks it up and it's, it's more statement. So that was just fantastic. Now this is actually a pajama top. It's vintage. It just looked so sweet. I would wear this with blue denim, tuck it in, and it's just a beautiful boxy shape. I just absolutely fell in love with this. I really did. I love the soft pastel pink, the lace trim, the little cap sleeve. It's just totally, totally my vibe. And the fact that it's vintage, and like I said, this was originally pajamas. I actually have the bottoms to go with it. I will wear this out as a top 100%. I personally don't think it looks like PJs, so I'm going to style this up and I can't wait to wear it. These are the pants that went with it. So I can also use them as PJs. If I'm traveling with company and I need a cute little pair of PJs, I can take the bottoms with me and you know wear them as PJs and as a top. So that I thought was fabulous. I just love a pastel pink and the lace trim is so pretty. Very happy with that little set. I think this is very pretty. Now I'm not really into boho at the moment. Well, not the real ditzy flower prints, paisley prints, fringing, tassels, not that kind of boho, but something simple like this and vintage is totally up my alley and I think it's so pretty. I have a bridal shower to go to in a couple of weeks and I was planning on wearing my little linen dress with a puff long sleeve that I showed you in the last thrift with me, but it's gonna be too hot. So I think this is more suitable. It looks airy, breezy, floaty, and I think it's just gonna work better for the bridal shower. But I just loved the neckline. It sits just on the shoulder, the sleeves, so sweet, little puff sleeve, cinch it in at the waist. The length is midi. I may have to wear a slip underneath or I may just rock it with a black bra and black underwear. Little scandalous, I know, but it may just work. I thought that was just gorgeous. This dress is very different for me also because it's very form-fitting. I'm used to wearing voluminous dresses, you know, tiered skirts and, and boxy silhouettes. This is stepping outside of my comfort zone, but I just think the color is stunning. I love this crisscross detail at the front, which ties in the back. It's got a stunning high neck. The skirt is almost like a column dress, but not as long, with a little slit in the middle, which I find very sexy. Look, this is very different for me, and I hope that I do rock it with confidence. The seller told me she bought it from Melbourne, and the label is 
H A, I can't really see because I'm not wearing my glasses. Hold on, here it is on the tag. H A N, I cannot see anything without my glasses. Okay, it says, H-A-N-Y-I-G-E, green linen dress, size small. So, and this color, gorgeous. I looked at this, I just thought that color, that print is stunning. And I'm not into color and print at the moment, but this just reminds me of a Spanish or Mexican kind of vibe. The roses, the red and the green. So even though there's color, it's kind of very classic and very bohemian at the same time. There is a little bit of fringe detail all around it. How I would style this, I'm not really sure. As a little wrap around kind of sash belt around my waist or I could wear it as a top or just as a shawl over something very simple like what I'm wearing you know it's all full black and then you have this that just breaks up an all black outfit which is stunning I'm not really sure when it first caught my eye I mean I was immediately drawn but I thought how am I going to style this because this isn't really my vibe at the moment and you know I walked off but I couldn't stop thinking about it so I had to go back and buy it to me just scream 70s boho so I'm always about 70s boho because it reminds me of my mum my mum had the most amazing wardrobe that I got to see only in photos because she kept nothing she kept nothing for me her daughter which is obsessed with vintage but anyway I'm sure I'll style it in some very different ways and have it Forever. And then the last piece I want to show you guys is this top, which I thought was vintage, but isn't. It's actually by a fast fashion label. As you can see there, it says Mia, and it's a size large. And that is what put me off because I honestly thought it was authentic vintage. So again, very boho, but again in the same kind of vibe as that short. So you can see what I'm drawn to. It's boho, but it's done in a very timeless way. I don't think this will ever date, neither will that shawl. And there are just some bohemian pieces that are not trendy, but very timeless, very unique, and very special. And this tapestry kind of off shoulder top, I thought was stunning. I saw this blue and I thought with blue denim, this is gonna look amazing. So that is how I wanna style it. Yeah, I think I would wear a figure hugging pair of denim that I have. And I'm not sure what shoe, maybe a little sling back, maybe a little heel. I absolutely loved it. So I went back and took it. So that is everything. What an amazing day. What amazing finds. I just hope that the footage turned out and that you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you're feeling my vibe, then please subscribe to my channel and come say hello to me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me during the week. You guys, I thank you for watching this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.